Pine Tree and this is a project transparency thing where I unbox things I get in the mail. I really need to come up with a better name for these things. Okay, so I know that I have a other promised vid couple other because I'm behind because commission, but you're getting the Loot Crate one early. So, so Lane, I was telling you about Loot Crate and that you should look at it and I don't think I told you that I had actually gotten one. And as I was leaving the house to go see the new Hercules movie because I'm reviewing it this weekend and also because I am brain fried from having finished the commission for I had just finished and sent off and resized all morning the the Art Deco skyscape for John Cannon's The Rise and Fall of Radiation Canary. So I'm a little bit all over the place and literally as I was walking to my car, I almost physically ran into the postal carrier and the, the nice postal carrier gave me my loot crate. Yay! So, pretty box, right? Okay, it, it's a black box that says loot crate. But, and <laughs> this week, uh, this month's theme was villains. And you know how much I adore villains. It, they're one of my favorite things, hence the Libertine Ladies series, which I will put in the drawer a link for them. And my trusty scissors. Cannot open a box without them or a box cutter, but all my box cutters are in my studio. Cut open the thing. I'm very excited. I haven't gotten one of these before. I've only heard about them recently because of Christina Horner's unboxing vids about them. Yay for seeing things from other YouTubers and saying I must have the thing. Okay, so it is open. Let us find out what's inside. Okay, for starters, look at the, for starters, look at the lid. They did all sorts of like cute drawings and things and there's a, a Harley, couple Harley Quinns, which I love Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is one of my favorite people in DC Comics, period. All right, so let's find out what's in here. We have, we have something that looks like it might be a little tiny poster. Assuming I can get it out of its thing. <gasps> oh, dude. Dude, check it out. It, it's, it's the Joker and Harley Quinn. Oh my God. That is so cool. It's so great. Dude. Gosh, check out Harley Quinn. She looks like such a badass. The only way they could have made that better was if she had the hyenas with her. Um, God, I'm so happy about that. And there's a t-shirt. There's like always a t-shirt from what I understand. <laughs> it's the joke. Let's see if I can do this here. It's the Joker as Loki. It says Jokey on it. Oh my God, that's so great. <laughs> keychain. God, yes. The Loot Crate, the Loot Crate theme of the month button that has Harley Quinn and Darth Vader, I think Loki. It has a couple different people on it. It's hard for me to kind of see. I think it's a video. Necessary evil supervillains of DC Comics. Maybe it's kind of a documentary thing. It says, experience the icons that forged fear. The Joker, Lex Luthor, Catwoman, Doomsday, Bane. Catwoman is not actually a villain. She's an anti-hero. So I disagree with that. What makes
makes them so thrillingly watchable, so terrifyingly wonderful, wonderful, so extremely vital to our superheroes and their worlds. This new feature-length documentary, it's a documentary, <laughs> explores these questions across seven decades of DC Comics hallowed rogues gallery of infamous evil doers. Prepare for diabolical delight. Dude, this is really awesome. Magnet with a uh, Koopa. A little villains comic with Deadpool on it. That's who was on the button. It because it's it's the same image as the it's the same image as the button. Just the button's small enough that I couldn't tell that that was Deadpool. I'm a bad Deadpool fan. <laughs> And an issue of Rocket Raccoon. Oh, dude, holding, and he's holding a loot crate. I'm not even freaking kidding here. Dude, this is really good. I need to do this again. And check, the inside of the box just gets better and better. Oh my god. Okay, so for like under 20 bucks, this is an amazing haul. So, Lane, you need to do the thing. Anybody else watching the thing who likes geeky stuff, they do different themes every month, do the thing. Bye. I'm going to go play with my toys. Bye. Say that again. I didn't think Deadpool was a villain. He's not necessarily. Deadpool's complicated. Wouldn't you say that's the best way to describe Deadpool, Lane? Complicated?